so hi all in this video we are going to see how we can create a sample report or a dashboard in data studio so we are going to use a bigquery table for our dashboard creation so let's first go to bigquery and check the table we want to use so i want to use a employee table from my bq demo data set so let's open this table and see which all are the columns there so that column contains the first name last name gender email father's name mother's name and all other details related to employee so let's go to data studio and create a dashboard based on this employee table so open a data studio dot google dot com you will land on your home page and click on blank report it will ask to create a data set so add data to report and it will give you option for multiple data connectors for google analytics google ads google sheet then we have bigquery so i'll be using bigquery for this demo so i'll choose a bigquery so once i choose bigquery it will show all the projects for which i am having access to and a data set and table so i clicked on my first project i clicked on my bq demo and i want to use a employee table so i'll add this data to my report and data is being loaded to my report so at the right hand side you could see all the column names and the data types so this is my default view when i loaded the data into the report now i want to customize my reports based on my requirement so let's start building our own report so i just want a name prefix and i want first name and last name of the employee so i'll add first name here then i want last name so i'll add last name then i want gender then let's see which all columns we can add i don't want a password okay then i will take a city state and country so i will take city state country okay so let's format this data okay so this is our, our raw data we can change the theme of our report so i'll be using the theme let's suppose i'll be using this theme because i feel this comfortable and good to view let's drag this bit down now i have added the employee tables data here and i'll add the title as employee data or employee details and you can add, expand the size okay now suppose i want to add one more field 
feed name should be address and I want to concat city then I want to concat state and country Let's add city and state only for my address and I'll click on save click on finished so now I'll drag my address column in the report okay so we, I have now the address column with the city and state concatenated now let's add some filter we can add a control here so let's add first a drop down list so i want to add a drop down list on the gender add the drop down list on gender so I would add a gender okay now I want to add a filter or let's say fixed size list or we can add advanced filter here So in advanced filter we can give the values like equals to or contents so instead of name prefix I will be adding that advanced filter on the name column so say suppose a first name so we added uh, the filters and then okay now i want to add one scorecard so i'll be able to identify how many total employees are there so i will be adding a scorecard here at the top so it will show me the 10,000 total record and I want to name it as a total employee so it will show a total employee here now this is the details now I want to add one more page to my report for employee summary so I will add one more page here so this is my first page as employee details and i want to add a second page and i'll give name i will give the title for this second page as employee summary And based on this employee summary I want to create a few charts so let's create some chart so I will be creating a bar chart first based on the employee from the state or a country so I don't want it I want it based on country okay so let's expand it so I want to check the employee based on their country column and I want to add or customize 
so I will just put a value on my bar show data labels so it will show the count here let's add one pie chart and pie chart I'll be adding based on the gender to check the proportion for male and female so here you could see the 50.5 percent are male and 49 percent employee are female Then let's see if we can add on a quarter base we'll add one more chart to see how many employees join based on a quarter or a year so let's add a time series chart and I'll add the employees joined by year so instead of this I'll add year here year of joining so it will show the trend how many employees were joining per year so you could see the count so in 2016 there are total 910 employees joined in 1997 there were 164 employee joined so we applied summary on this and here we could add filter for a year or so suppose I want to add filter for year now I added the filter on year so I can go to any particular year and see the total employee joined by regions you could see on 2016 19 employees joined out of which 50.7% were female and 49% were male and this is the breakdown by their country so let me select all now we have two pages to our reports one is employee details and one is employee let me give the name to my report employee let's change the page name as well so the first page will give employee details and second will give as employee summary okay so let's again go to employee details page and we'll add some more transformations here so let me format it better way so i'll pull the filters a bit down okay I'll make it the big size 
so it should look like a title I will change the font style suppose Georgia I will make it bold and I will also change the color so I will change the color to employee details okay so now let's so here uh, we could see there are three columns name prefix first name last name so let's make it as a one column called full name so let me add a field so i'll add field as a full underscore name and i'll concat three columns here concat name prefix then i will add first name then i want space to be added in between first name and last name and then i'll add last name so if our formula is correct it will show green here let's say suppose i remove this comma and see so it will give us an error so let me add the comma and create this field as a full name let me click on finish and now we'll drag our full name in our report so let's first see if full name column is available in available fields yes so full name is available here let's add full name here and remove prefix first name and last name and we'll keep only the full name okay so we have a full name now now we could see the full name the professor Zen Roseboro and all others prefix are concatenated to our first name and last name so let's add a joining date also in our report so day of joining I have added to report okay so it's not a date okay let me remove that I will add a date of joining instead of a day of joining okay so I have date of joining here okay and let me add the control here for a slider okay let me remove the slider because we need a numerical value for slider so I will add date range control Okay, so date range control won't work here because uh, it requires a current data so it uh, currently we are working on historical data so it won't work here so I'll delete this date range control and I'll add one drop-down list 
for year of joining so i'll keep this drop down for year of joining okay now i just want to view my reports in view mode okay so this is my report will look like to viewers so this is employee details page this is employee summary page now let's see how i can interact with my reports using the filters so let me check the year of joining filter and i want the data only for the employee who joined in 2013 let's check the data so in 2013 there are 608 employees joined okay and let's check their joining date all should be in 2013 and same we can apply on summary page we want data only for 2000 13 summarized view so this will show me summarized view in 2013 313 were male and 295 were female this is the total count and this is the country wise breakdown of our report let's go back to edit mode okay so now i want to share this report to the viewers so you have option here to sh save share and here you could give the email address of the viewers and you can give them access to view edit or owner okay so let's say i'll open the view open the reports in view mode and i want to download this data so i can right click and export data in csv excel or a google sheet so let's export it in csv it will export me the data in csv okay now let's suppose i want to schedule a report to my email so let's it's my email id i'll keep everything as it is and i want to schedule it from today itself and i want to give the time as a 5 pm so i'm giving the time for four minutes later so I am giving the time 5 and I will repeat it I want to repeat on a daily basis so I will click on schedule ok so my report is scheduled let's wait for some time to see if my report is scheduled and it will deliver to my mailbox Meanwhile, I will pause this video. Okay, let's open Gmail and see if I got a scheduled report. I will open my Gmail. And here you could see I received my scheduled data studio report. Let me open to see the content. So here you could see via google data studio view the interactive reports employee if we click on that you will go to data studio and here you received a pdf attachment as well so in this way we can schedule a report to the required recipient so this way we can create a report 
data studio dashboard on a bigquery table now suppose we have a requirement that we have to create a report on a multiple tables not a single tables and we have a query we are joining some tables so let's add one more part to the same report so i'll add a data and i'll click on the bigquery now i won't select any bigquery table instead i will use a custom query so which will join two tables and fetch data from the two tables so i'll select the project i'll so suppose i have one query here where i am joining two tables one is employee and one is employee first login from the first login table i am fetching employee's first login date and from the employee table i am fetching employee id and i am joining this two table based on employee id so let me put this query in data studio it will validate the query and let me add let's change the page name as well so the first page will give employee details and second will give as employee summary okay so let's again go to employee details page and we'll add some more transformations here so let me format it better way so i'll pull the filters a bit down okay i'll make it the big size so it should look like